Hey guys, this is the Tech Savant back again with another video, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Asus Zenfone 7 Pro. Let's start off with the design. Off the bat, this device is a well built, hefty device. Gorilla Glass front and back, and certainly more on the tech side of things. Those of you who have used the ROG Phone 2 will see its similarities in thickness. One thing to note, there's no water resistance present on this device. Up front we have a beautiful 90Hz 6.7 Super AMOLED display. It's a gorgeous 1080p display that even looks bright and clear in direct sunlight. The display also has an always on feature but it acts more as an always on clock. Not really much info is shown here. Around back is where the trademark of this device resides in that flip camera system with triple lenses. More on that in a bit. Glass back. You already know that's a fingerprint magnet right there. Certainly, you're gonna need a case for this device if you don't want accidental drops. On the right side of the device, we have the volume rockers and the power button, which is also the fingerprint scanner. The scanner works as it should, fast and reliable. You can also program the power button as a smart key to open a specific app or action. At the bottom, we have the USB-C charging port, mics, stereo speakers, and also a notification LED. There's another stereo speaker up top which doubles as the phone's earpiece as well. Next up on our list is performance. And I must say I'm a big fan of the Zen UI here since it's super close to stock Android. And as a lover of stock Android, this feels right at home for me. Ease of navigation is key and Asus has nailed it here. Even in the settings, most of the phone's customization features are neatly tucked away in submenus, clean and effective. Even though the Zenfone uses last year's flagship Snapdragon A65 Plus, performance is crazy fast and smooth, coupled with that 90Hz refresh rate, 8 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of UFS 3.1 storage. There are no complaints here and this device handles multitasking and even gaming with ease. And speaking about games, there's a Game Genie overlay that can be easily accessed by playing. It's nice to see Asus bringing these features over from their gaming phones. With performance comes the topic of battery life, and it's safe to say you won't be disappointed seeing that there's a 5000 mAh battery inside. This is more than enough to get you through the entire day, especially under heavy use. There's a bundle 30 watt charge included, which charges the device from 0 to 40% in half hour and reaches full 100% roughly under 2 hours. Not the fastest charging speed, but it gets the job done. Unfortunately, there's no wireless charging here. You can also set a Zen phone to charge at slower speeds if you wish to better preserve the overall life of the battery. Next up, let's look at these cameras. We've got a triple camera system that also doubles as your front cameras as well. Everything that can be done while taking rear shots can be done up front as well and that's the beauty of the setup. The flip mechanism is quite unique and switching between front and back systems is done so effortlessly. Don't worry, ASUS has guaranteed up to 200,000 flips. That's 100 flips per day for 5 years. You can also control the angles at which the module flips to get some interesting shots. There's a main 64 megapixel shooter with OIS, a 8 megapixel telephoto with 3x optical zoom, and a 12 megapixel ultra wide lens. Photos taken are well balanced in my opinion, not too saturated, not overexposed. A lot of detail and good sharpness. And of course, there's always a pro mode for those of us who like to tinker some more. Didn't get the chance to capture some low light shots but this is how the night mode does as compared to my Pixel 4XL in absolute darkness. When it comes to video, you can capture up to 8K at 30 frames per second. Overall, I think the average user won't be disappointed by these results, especially having the rear cameras be used as your front cameras as well. Alright guys, this is the front facing uh, camera video test. Um, video and audio in one so you guys will get an idea of how the quality is um it looks good your selfies are going to be perfect overall a solid camera setup now this device is not going to be for everyone given its overall size and heft but if you're looking for a device away from the norm of the samsung's and iphones the zenfone 7 pro is definitely a strong contender its superb performance battery life and cameras are more than enough to satisfy even the average consumer if you guys have any questions or comments feel free to leave them in the description below don't forget to like share and subscribe if you haven't see you guys in the next one bless